My name is Hugh Sung, and I'm with Artist Works Online Popular Piano School. Now, a lot of folks, when they're first starting the piano, complain of two things. Number one, they complain that it's really hard to be able to play with two hands at the same time, doing two different things. And they also complain sometimes that maybe their fingers are just not coordinated to play all these different things at the same time. So I've got a special exercise for you. This is an exercise that was passed down to me from my teacher's teacher. And with this exercise, if you practice this 20 minutes a day, you're going to not only be able to play with both hands, doing something pretty cool and pretty complicated at the same time, but you're also going to see a noticeable improvement in your strength, your flexibility, and you're, you're just going to feel a whole lot better, much more confident on the piano. So let me show you what this exercise is. I call this my Sirkin exercise, after the great pianist Rudolf Sirkin. So let me show you how, how it goes. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to be using alternating fingers. If you know, with each hand, we number our fingers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Same thing for your left hand, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And what I mean by alternating fingers, we're going to be using our 1 and 3, then our 2 and 4, and our 3 and 5. Okay? 1 and 3, 2 and 4, 3 and 5. Right there, even right there. That's a pretty tricky little hand coordination exercise for you right there. And let's put this all together in this fascinating exercise. Let me show it to you from my uh, overhead cam. So here's the exercise. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my right hand first just to get you started, okay? First what you're going to do is look for two black keys, okay? The white key next to the, the, to the left of the second, the first black key over here is a C, all right? I'm going to put my thumb here and then I'm also going to put my third finger, see I'm skipping a note in the middle there with my one and my three, okay? Put those down at the same time. Now, I'm going to play these next two notes, the alternate fingers, see that? Two and four, and I'm going to go back and forth. Now the tricky thing is to try to see if you can do this so they all, the, both of these pairs of notes get played at exactly the same time. And try to see if you can avoid kind of poking and having a gap of sound in between the notes. See if you can hold this down and don't let go until the next two fingers play. See that? Hold that down. Don't let go until you get back to that. All right? We're going to do the same thing with our left hand. Now, let's find those same two black keys one set down. Start over here with the C. Now we're going to actually kind of go up the white keys over here. All right? We're going to start with our thumb over here and our third finger here, but they're going to be playing slightly different notes, but the same finger sets, one and three. See that, how I'm skipping those notes there? So one, three together, and now we're going to use our two, four. So we're doing the opposite direction. Same sets of fingers, two and four here. Same idea, try to hold these notes down and don't let go before playing the next set. One, three, two, four. Okay, see that? See if you can really hold on. All right, now here's the challenge. See if you can put that all together with the right hand over these two notes and the left hand on these two notes. You're going to use the same sets of fingers. And even though it may seem kind of intimidating to play both hands at the same time, the cool thing is that when you're using the same finger sets simultaneously, it'll be a lot easier than you think, okay? Because your body loves to do things in pairs. It's something I call symbiosis, okay? If the right hand is playing one and three, the left hand feels most comfortable imitating that with a one and three as well. Okay, so again, let's do the same exercise now, but this time together. See that? And just go back and forth. Okay? Now the next variation of this is going to go like this. Now we've just we've used one or three, one and three, two and four. Now the last pair we're going to use is a three and five. Let's do the right hand alone first. So after I've done this. Okay, now I'm going to alternate and use a 5 and a 3. This is where it gets a little tricky. Pinky over here and the third finger here. Okay, so these are the kind of remaining notes of the pairs. 5, 3, 4, 2, and we're always skipping a note in between or skipping a key in between those finger sets. Now this is really hard. You're going to experience your pinky, and you especially if, never, if you've never exercised your pinky before, it might feel really clumsy. That's normal. And this is what this exercise is going to really strengthen, okay? So again, you want to try to avoid having your notes kind of come down one at a time. Do your best, 
to try to figure out how to bring them both down exactly the same time. Five and three, and four and two, and again, hold your fingers, make them really sticky, don't let them go until the next pair plays. Go back and forth with five, three, and four, two. Okay, now as you can guess, the left hand's gonna do the same thing. So again, starting from this note, we're looking at these five white keys. Now, with your pinky and your third finger should be playing a C and an E over here, okay? With a five and three, okay? Five, three, and then four, two. Go back and forth, and again, now if you're right-handed, you're gonna especially feel your left, hand, your left hand pinky feeling particularly awkward. If you're left-handed, you might find this, the reverse for your right hand, but anyway, again, like I said, this is a great exercise for strengthening this muscle here and all the, the weak fingers, and especially in alternating pairs. So again, five, three, four, two, five, three, four, two. Go back and forth. Okay, now, let's put that all together. Five, three is gonna be playing these two notes, and five, three in the left hand is gonna be playing these two notes over here. Same finger sets for both hands. Back and forth, four, two, and again, try to see if you can time it so that all the notes play exactly at the same time. All right, now let's put the whole thing together. One, three, two, four, let's start over here. Okay, that's how we're gonna start our exercise. And we're gonna do the one, three, four, two set four times. Ready, and one, two, three, four. Now we're gonna to switch to the five, three. Four, two, five, three, four. Do you see how I alternated? We do this four times. You can go back and forth four times here. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay? This is a terrific exercise. If you've never played the piano, stay right here. Now, for those of you who have played the piano before and need a little bit more challenge, there's that, there are actually several variations of this exercise. And I actually have the sheet music available on my school website. Uh, you go to the forums, look under the general discussions, look in the sheet music subtopic, and look for the word, or search for the word Serkin, S-E-R-K-I-N. And you should find the notes written out for the entire exercise. Let me play it through. It's the same fingering sets, but the notes are going to change. It's going to start out just like I showed you here. Okay? But then we're going to change these notes. Ooh, so what we're doing is we're playing a minor key. Okay? So when you switch from E over here, we're move this to an E flat. That's the minor variation. Then we're going to have a diminished variation here. So we're going to move this G to a G flat. And, woohoo, D flat over here. And then a G flat over in the right hand. Sounds pretty complicated, doesn't it? Okay? But again, the notes are all written out for you. Then what we do is we move up half a step, half a key step at a time. We're going to start the same exercise, okay, on D flat major, okay? So same exercise with the fingers, but now we're going to be exercising this on black and white key combinations. Especially with the thumb, you're pinking on these narrow black keys. Pretty tricky. Here's the minor variation. too fast, only go as fast as it's comfortable to figure out what the notes are, and concentrate really on the stickiness, okay? Moving on to D major, and I'm just going to go through this really quickly so that you see what the notes are if you want to just learn to do this by imitating me, okay? Here. Then I switch to an A flat and an F, and an E 
flat in G. A flat in F. Now we move to an E flat major. G, E flat, B flat, G. A flat in F. Okay, G, B flat in G, E flat in G. down to an A natural, then E natural and G sharp. I'm going to run quickly through the rest of these. Again, I'm just, you don't have to play these fast. exercise by the way as well because it exercises every finger and by the way it also gives you a nice bit of ear training to hear major minor keys and diminished keys, leading you to new harmonies. to C and E are basically our starting key. Woo! And if you've never done these before, your fingers are going to feel it. This is a really great workout. and You're going to feel muscles that you probably have never felt before if you do this right. Now, one more thing just to kind of point out. You want to make sure that your fingers are as curved as possible while you're doing this exercise, okay? You want to try to avoid karate chopping your pinkies by playing them on the side. Try to stay on the tip of your fingers. You want to really aim for the fingertips as much as possible, okay? And that'll naturally cur curve your fingers in. See how my fingers are positioned? Watch my pinky. See how curved that is? That's pretty critical to strength, to get the maximum strength. If you're doing this with your pinky, you're not really exercising the finger. You're just kind of relying on your wrist and your hand to throw the key down rather than relying using the muscle to actually activate the key. So try to keep your fingers curved as much as possible, especially the black keys. See how curved my pinky is over here? Try to avoid this, okay? Try to bring those fingertips in, okay? So that is my 20 minute exercise. It probably, you know, once you get really good at this, it, you, it probably won't take you 20 minutes, but in the beginning it will because you're figuring out the notes, you're getting your hands in position, and you know, you're gonna be working on coordination. But give this a try. And I can't wait to see what you guys accomplish in terms of your finger strength, in terms of your comfort with moving in between all the different keys. Love to give you this challenge to see how it makes your fingers stronger, more flexible, and frankly, getting your hands coordinated in a very tricky pattern. But once you understand this great pattern, you'll be able to do this with both hands together and just feel so much more comfortable all up and down the keyboard. Give this a try, and I can't wait to see your results.